Hello, I'm Mixed Miles and Iron Man, and welcome to my channel. In this video also will be my little tiny O'Reilly boy. Hey, Daddy, uh, Yeah, Daddy's here. Uh, in this video, we're going to be doing a review on this uh, 2K wireless solar panel security camera, which I've been sent free of charge for purpose of review. However, I did say I'm prepared to review your product only if I can have another one, which I can give away to one of you lucky lot. So if you keep watching this video, you two could be the owner of one of the security cameras. As of yet, I don't know what they're like. I don't know what it's like to set them up. I don't know if they're any good or if they're fantastic, but we'll find that out in a video. So if you keep watching this video, you two could have one of these completely sent to you free of charge via the Mixmode channel. The links to these products you'll be finding in the description and also in my comment section. So if um, you do like what you see and you can hit them up and then go and purchase one of these yourself um, for off of their site or where they're selling it. I think they are an Amazon affiliate site is what it is, but the reason I wanted this is not that it's got anything to do with, with mowers, but for added security around your home or in your workshop, this could be excellent. So you can set this up inside your workshop, you can set it up in your back garden or wherever, and as it's um, on wireless, it doesn't require any wires to be fed for the battery or for uh, for the internet. So um, it could you could put this up absolutely anywhere as long as it does get a lot of sunlight, then you could be you could be happy as Larry with that. So um, that's the reason why home security is a massive thing this day and age with, with your doorbells and other security cameras. People are walking around. I see it on my local Facebook marketplaces and on, on Facebook. People snoop around at half past two in the morning. You get an alert on your phone that says someone is in your back garden or in your workshop, then this could be a good little device for you. So keep watching. If this is your first time watching Mixed Mother and Merman, hit the subscribe button, whack the old bell. Yay! That way you'll be told next time we upload another video. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty. Let's get this 2K camera unboxed, get it set up, see what it looks like, see how it works, give it my review, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so here we have what I think is called the Yukai, um, E U K I Z Y E3 2K wireless battery powered security camera. 100% wire free, no cords, no wires, and no worries is what it says on the old packet. Also, is 100% wireless, it's 2K free um, MPHD, rechargeable battery, motion detection, two way audio with um, color and navigation, it's waterproof and it supports a micro SD, which does not actually come with the um, device itself. You have to purchase that or buy your lonesome. So it would have been nice if the SD card was actually um, put in. The SD card cost me about 14 pound of my own money. So apart from that, we can go straight into the unboxing. I've not opened these up at all, not even had a little sneaky peek at it. Let's have a quick little, open that up. See what we get inside the box. Inside the box, it's got a little tiny tab here. It says, warning, do not charge. Uh, the camera in environments um, below zero uh, recommended to um, to stay uh, to stay the camera uh, indoors for half an hour before charging. Um, so you have to put it indoors before. Uh, if you do, you've got, you've got to let it warm up. Is what it's saying. Bit of foam in there. We also have a customer support uh, user manual, comprehensive by the looks of it. Um, and uh, in English, um, in different, yeah, lots of different languages here, um, all in all. So it's got a quite a comprehensive um, setup guide, user manual by the looks of it. You've got to have an app to support this. So that looks pretty cool. Um, tells you all about how to um, set it up using the app, all about your motion detection in there and how to set that all up. So you've got your user manual there, which you're gonna to have to read. Also comes with a customer service, um, it's like a warranty card, is it? Uh, yeah, warranty card. So it has got a 12 month um, warranty, which most um, most uh, electrical um, component um, devices do have a year anyway. Then also you have next here, your wireless wire um, and solar panel, which is there. So there's your wire panel and that comes with the older style uh, micro SD charging point, not the, um, the Cat C one. You've also got a couple of mounts here as well. I'm assuming the black mount is for the um, solar panel and the white mount is for the camera. So it's sort of color coded. You get a few raw plugs there, which uh, they're not brilliant. I'm gonna say they're not brilliant because they're not brilliant. Um, they're just your standard ones you get in the normal shops. Um, a bit more heavy duty stuff would have been better. 
And also we've got here, these are some mounts, Riley. Um, also we've got here your, um, your mounting for your camera, which is on a swivel, which has a 360 degree swivel on it as well. So that's good to see. So you can mount this absolutely anywhere at any, at any sort of angle. So that's pretty good. Also got another wire here. I'm not sure what that's for yet. I thought we were wireless. And then you've got your uh, camera and a bit of foam inside there, and that's it. Um, so it would have been nice to see a micro SD card in there, as I say, but uh, it didn't have one. Inside the bag, we have our camera itself. It's big one. Yeah, nice big camera. Okay, so some of the features um, on this camera before we before we go ahead is you've got your two antennas, as I say, um, on the top, which you can you can swivel um, up and downwards only. Um, on the um, the actual front face of the camera itself, you've got your you've got your lens uh, on the front there. You've also got your charging indication, which I think is this little tiny one here. You've got your um, your standard working um, um, status, which is this one over this side here. You've also got a microphone at the top um, on there as well. You've also got some kind of floodlight system here. I don't know if this whole ring lights up, but there's also a floodlight on here as well, so you can set it up for uh, a light as well. So that'd be interesting to see how bright that is at night time. You've also got your um, PIR, which I believe to be your, your uh, motion detection device down at the bottom there, which I don't want to touch very much at all. So that's what you've got on the, on the, on the front side of the actual camera itself. And as I say, on the, on the underside here, you've got this little tiny plug which you pull out. Uh, you've got your speaker here, so you can actually talk, listen to people and talk as well at the same time, I'm guessing. Uh, hear what they're saying, because you have got a microphone, so it will either pick up their audio or you can talk to them as well. We should see how that works a bit later on. You've got your USB port in there, and you've also got your reset button and your power on and off button, and it says to power it on to hold it for five seconds, and uh, the same to turn it off and to reset it as well as you push your... Um, uh, your reset tab for five seconds until you hear um, some kind of alert system to say it's been reset to factory settings. The SD card is not supported, as I say, but it will only take up to 128 um, gigs on your um, on your device. The charging indication when you're charging up, if it flashes red, it means it's charging. If it's um, blue, it means it's fully charged. Uh, so that's good. Um, solid red also means that the uh, the, um, it's, um, the network is abnormal. Um, flashing, slow flashing red light means a waiting Wi-Fi connection and um, start-up devices. The Wi-Fi um, first flashes red um, until the Wi-Fi is connected, okay, and then solid blue once the, the Wi-Fi is actually connected up, okay, and use a 5-volt, five, 2-amp um, five um, power cord uh, to charge it, which is actually um, given uh, to you via, via your, um, your device inside the box. So that's the facility is actually on the camera. What we're going to do now, I'm going to get the old ladder set up. Find roughly the best place to put this because, as I say, the swivel is not brilliant, so it had to be forward facing going down the garden rather than on a, on a swivel angle. So you are limited to where you can put it. Just think about that before you purchase a device as to where you can actually fit this uh, to give you best field of view and to what it is you actually want to cover within your um, your security device itself. So I'm just going to open up the little micro SD card and the little tiny card reader. And I should keep the card. I've got loads of these readers myself, so I should be keeping that anyway. Um, just so I can upload videos and what have you. And if I need to upload anything off of a camera for the police, then I can do. So um, your micro SD card, it says, um, looking at it, it's got a cut out that way. So I'm assuming it goes in that way there is what it says. So uh, it's going to be um, that way there. That will then sit in. That's what it says. All the way in. And just, just to the clicks, you, you'll hear it click. So that's all the way in. And then you can then do that back up like so. Now, I will put this together now, but I'll be taking it back off because we're going to have to, of course, um, uh, screw this to the wall. So this is just how you just screw, screw that into the back of that and then that will then support your camera. That is quite a weighty camera, to be fair. That is quite weighty. Um, and I'd be surprised if, um, if that's actually man enough uh, uh, over, over time. But as you can see, you can, you can twist this, so just make sure you have roughly it set up to where you want it to. Um, before we put it onto the wall. Um, otherwise, you might find you bolt it to the wall and it's in the wrong orientation, but you can't actually um, uh, move it about. So what I would probably recommend is it goes like so, so that this cutout is actually at the bottom. I should probably mount it to the wall like so, so that way I can then turn it at a slight angle and then also have it facing downward slightly as well down the bottom of the garden. But it doesn't actually give you a full 360, like I said it did initially, a full 360 of view 
um, on there. It's a shame because it would have been better if you can just literally put this anywhere you like, but that's, you can have it mounted there all the way down, all the way up, which is pretty much level, but your, your, your field of view is restricted that way unless you turn this round and then you can mount it that way and have that there, but that way you're only gonna get one direction of travel. It would have been nice to see the cutout here so you get a bit more of a better swivel. It's not a negative, I'm just trying to say, if you're trying to um, produce this for the market, um, you need to give people more options on the maneuverability of, of this device. But as you can see, you, can, you've only, you, you are actually quite limited. So that is a negative for me, but it all depends on where you're setting it up. If you've got a straight run through down the bottom of the garden, then you, you're good to go. Have it there and that's it and that, that's good. All depends on your field of view coming out of a camera, of course. So that goes onto the camera there. And then onto your solar panel is the black one. That will then screw onto there. And again, your solar panel uh, has exactly, exactly the same fitting. So you want to have this, I would say, the other way up. So it faces upwards towards the sunlight. So it gets most of the sun. And then this wire here, this is where it says um, on the box, 100% wireless. Um, uh, I disagree with that. Um, I'm not trying to knock the product. We've got quite a big bit of cable there, which is nice to see but obviously you're, um, you, you have got a wire. So it's not 100% wireless, I'm just, I'm just pointing out the obvious. If I don't point it out, someone else will. So your cable that goes into here, which is not a Cat C fast charger one, which is a shame. Um, we have mo all moved on since then. That will then plug into there. So what's happening here? So is it a question of, I have to make a hole in this? Oh, here you go. Just about to say, I'd, I'd want this to be permanently on, permanently on charge. Okay, so that goes through here and then it then sits into there, okay. And that socket then goes back over top, your waterproof socket, like so. That goes onto there, but uh, I, I dare say a bit of moisture could get in, but it's just the way it's manufactured. So it's not completely wireless, it is a wire to be had. I dare say you can, you can um, just plug this, um, solar panel in as and when you need it, if it's got a battery indicator, which we'll find out later on, to tell you how much battery power you have within the camera, and you just plug it in. But that means going up a ladder and um, having to plug it in just to charge it up. So that, that, that's a thing. Uh, two aerials, as I say, so there you go. It's, it's a smart looking camera. It is a smart looking camera. Um, it weighs a little bit, that bracket, um, I don't know if that will, if that will um, weather over, over, the, over time. And uh, that, that may fail, I don't know, but it does say you've got a lifetime um, technical support system on this card, so maybe that's a thing. I'm not pointing out all the negatives, I'm just pointing out what exactly there is um, on this, on this um, device itself. So next thing to do will be try and find the location to put this camera, and then we can then screw it to, um, to the wall, screw the solar panel to the wall, <coughs> get it set up in the place where we want it, and then hopefully um, we can then try and power this thing on, uh, which will be done by removing this little tiny um, uh, rubber bung and turning the power on, which is this one here, and then you've got a reset button on this side here. So that's what we do next. We'll get the old ladder out, and we'll, we'll drill some holes in the wall, and then um, I think we'll go from there. See how we get on. Right, so. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I've already got a floodlight lit up here already, which has got a motion detection on it. So I'm going to put my camera just to one side of it, which will give me full field of view going down the garden, hopefully, and also a bit of the view um, coming in um, from, from this sort of angle as well, um, coming around the house. And I do already have a camera already fitted um, at my location. And the access is only for access via the front. I have no back or uh, access, which I have powered up here. And I have a camera just located on the wall just here also. So all, anyone that comes in um, actually gets spotted on the camera beforehand. Um, and there's no access to my property via the back. This is all, all other people's back garden. So if someone did jump over the, over the fence, uh, they could do, I suppose, but they're going for someone else's gardens to do so. Um, but what I want is, because I've got a camera, I've already got devices in the shed already. This is mainly just going to be for the back garden uh, camera. So it's going to go up here somewhere, uh, up on the up on that uh, fascia, I, I dare say. And, uh, and we go from there. So um, let me get the camera set up. We'll draw some holes and um, we can get it fitted. So um, I'll meet you in two ticks.
Okay, so the next thing to do will be look, check out your user manual, people. Right, so this has got lots of step by steps. To be fair, it's quite com you know it's quite comprehensive for what it is. Um, so it says here, number one, you've got to download this app here, Cloud Edge. You've got to download that first. There's a there's a QR code for it if you need it. You can just I just downloaded it straight via the uh, my Google Play Store. Um, it, then it says here, turn on. Uh, below permissions for using the app for the first time. Allow Google Edge app to access mobile cellular data and wireless um, LA, LAN, or it will fail to add the camera. Allow Cloud Edge app to um, receive push messages, or you will not receive any alarms uh, for motion detection when it's triggered. So you've got, to down you've got to download the app first, which I've done, and then it you've then got to click through the registration. So for the first users, you need to register via email, um, and then uh, follow the steps, click register, follow the steps to complete the registration of your account and log in. So that's what you've got to do. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm not going to should do it all because you're going to obviously see some of my passwords, bits and pieces. So I will, I will with my beautiful wife, look. So I will be um, just doing, moving some of it on when uh, it needs to. So it says here, um, you might get a bit of a bit of glare off of my lighting, which I can't really odds at. <clears throat> um, it says here, uh, country, so we're in the UK. I'm assuming it's going to say UK, is it? Let's go down here and search it. Might, 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 might be easier. Uh, UK. Uh, that's Ukraine. We're not in Ukraine. Is it England? No. Is it United Kingdom? Oh. Uh, United Kingdom. There you go. All right. So in the United Kingdom. That's good. Um, don't know about that. So I uh, can't log in. So we've got to set up now. We've got to set up a new account. Uh, via email, let me put my email address in quickly and I'll move on to the next step. So once you've done that, it will then um, confirm your email address. You've then got to put in two passwords and then just um, click the confirm um, notifications on there and then it says done. Once you've done it, click the done button, wait a moment. Uh, once you've done that, that's all good. We can now, we're now ready to add the device by the looks of it. So I need to add the device. However, before we do that, what you need to do is um, go and plug in your camera um, to um, to a plug socket and make sure the phone and the camera is within about one to two meters of your router. Otherwise, it won't all link. So let your battery charge up on your camera. Um, don't forget it needs to be uh, red is charging, blue is fully charged. Once that's done, I'll come back to you. Okay, so now I'm indoors, so the sound might be a bit echoey because I'm actually indoors. I'm turn the um, door a bit, a bit of natural lighting as well, stop the echo as well. Um, so as you can see, my camera is now plugged into the, to the main socket and it is actually charging because it is still red on the display. So I don't know if this is going to work until it's actually fully charged or not, I don't yet know. So the next step on what to do, it says to tap add the device. So let me go back to my to my um, phone and it says add device. Uh, it says here important permissions uh, are limited. Let's just fix that, it says. Uh, opened, unopened, allow running in the background. Okay, let's try that, allow that. How to enable permissions on all models. That looks like it might have done it. Yep, it's done it, that's good, right. So that's no problem. Um, we can now add the device. Now I'm not sure you've got to turn this on first. I'm, possibly, I'm thinking you do. Otherwise it wouldn't do it. So on the power button, hold it down for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. There you go, power button's just come on just there, okay? So that's now turned on. Let's uh, add the device, add. It's got battery cam there, so I'm assuming that's the one. It says here, smartphone camera. Let's just choose that one then, see what it does. Yeah, it does. So it now just told me in my ear to push and hold the power button to start the device. Hold the device power button to start. So you don't, you don't turn it on until afterwards, but we give it a go, it is flashing. Um, camera button to wake up, push next. Tips to obtain um, current Wi-Fi connection information you'll need uh, to give permissions. Okay, so okay. So uh, we go uh, whilst using the app. So it's now asking me, so now it's asking me to hold the reset button for five seconds so it flashes red. One, two, three, four, Five. It just flashed red, then I see that. And then uh, push and hold reset button five seconds and click next. Select the 2.4 gigahertz, yeah, and then enter my Wi-Fi password, which will be over here, which you guys are not gonna see because it's secret. 
So I put, let me just put in my um, my password for my Wi-Fi. Bear with me. Uh, it says here, please confirm whether your Wi-Fi account and passwords are correct. I click OK. So now it's saying to remove the film from the front of it and there'll be a QR code come up on your phone. Click next and click it from five to eight inches away. And it should read that, I'm guessing. Scan QR code with a device at a distance between five to eight inches is what it's saying. That's about five to eight inches. It says next. Uh, a touch, a touch tone will be heard when successfully scanned. Let's click next, see what happens. It says connecting. It says connecting, but uh, we should see. It says, wait a moment. I don't know if it's scanned, didn't it? I didn't hear no touch tone. So I may have to go back. It might be yet to turn down the, uh, the volume, uh, the, the brightness of your phone as well. Maybe, maybe that's a thing. So it is actually counting down from a minute here. This could take a little while. When it does something, I'll come back to you. So once you follow the step by steps, <coughs> it will connect. Now I did get it wrong to begin with. Um, I had the device turned on already. So make sure you turn the device off first before you follow the steps, okay? So turn this off, um, keep it charging, and then follow the steps on here, and then it will tell you when to turn it on, when to reset it. So I did get it wrong first time round, but typically me can't wait for nothing. But once you follow the steps, it will then go flash blue, or stay blue, which means um, it is now paired. Um, Push next. <clears throat> so it says put the camera and phone at the place of installation. Push next to enter network diagnostic. So now I have to go over to where I'm going to be um, having the camera installated and put this together and then hopefully it should uh, it should go from there. So let me go back outside and then uh, we'll see how we go. This is still charging, so I may just let this charge just for a little while, just until we know it's going on because it's still uh, red here. So I might just give it a little while yet. I don't think the app is gonna have any problems. Um, you received an alert, it says, already. That's good, so it is, it is doing something. So um, let me get it a bit more charged up and then I'll go back and fit it to the wall and then we should go from there. Right, so there you go, we're all now set up um, and the camera's working. Uh, Riley Boy is in the garden. Um, I'm down in my mixed mower shack and uh, Riley Boy, can you just jumping around for me? There you go, so there's my little Riley Boy. He's uh, he's now on the camera. It's wor That's working off of my indoor Wi-Fi and I have my own Wi-Fi down the shed here. So installation is very, very simple. Um, all you've got to do is just um, charge the camera up. Once it's charged up, make sure the camera and um, phone are in the same location. And then um, just mount your camera back up to, um, to the position and then away you go. So that's it. So all in all, um, I'm generally impressed. I do have one or two little niggles, which I do want to say about this, um, because if they had um, thought about it just a little bit more, just put a bit more thought into this, then this camera could have been absolutely fantastic. Um, but hey ho, um, let me come back up top and I'll tell you my uh, my last thoughts and uh, we'll go from there. Say bye, Riley. Wave. <laughs> no, wave at, wave at the camera. There you go, there he is, okay, cool. Right, see you back in a minute. Okay, so there you have it. That's the uh, installation and workings of uh, this new security camera. Um, I will just show you now. Let me just um, fire that up because I'm on me. I want to change my internet now. Come down on my own internet down in the shed. So let me just change it over. Over it goes and connected. Um, now if I go to my app and push play, that'll load up in two seconds flat, no doubt. Um, it's a, it's actually not a bad little camera for what it is. Um, and there it is. There now all fully working. 
I can even hear myself in my earpiece now, so it's all working. Riley, boy, can you just go up to the camera, please, just to show you guys it is working? Sure. So you better see him come out of the shed. Where you go, quick, quick. Ow. So you better see him. He's just coming out of the shed now. Ow. He's running up the garden. Here he goes. Here he comes. Here he is. So there's about a second delay. There he is. Uh, can you wave? Can you wave your arms, please, Riley? There you go, waving his arm. So it all works. Um, it does what it says. Um, there are a few features on here. You can take screenshots, you can do intercom, you can record it, uh, motion detection on, you can turn the light on and off. I haven't tried that yet. And also the light settings. So there are one or two, about six or seven different features you can do, plus lots of other settings within it. So all in all, come on down here, buddy boy. All in all, um, all in all, I'm generally impressed. Okay, I will say that for a, um, a cheapish, um, uh, wireless security device that you can put inside your home, inside your workshop, um, wherever wherever you think you need the security. So it, this could be away from home, um, in, a, in a second house or in an apartment, in a shed. As long as you have some form of um, internet there, this will pick up on it. And I, I use a Huawei uh, 4G completely wireless router in this shed, which I pay a diff different router to what I have indoors. Um, so this runs uh, off of that all the time. So that's really good. So it did say I had a bit of a weak signal coming from the house. I may change it over to the shed workshop internet, see if that improves it any better. Um, it's not the best signal because uh, the router's at the far end of the house. So I have to take that into consideration. But all in all, I'm relatively impressed with it to say the least. It does exactly what it says it should do. Uh, it records and um, it captures your images and you can talk to people on it, you can record. So if anyone does come into your back garden into your workshop at night time, you can see that. And I work nights, so generally Mrs. P's at home with the boys and what have you, but I work nights. So I'll be getting a, a beep in my ear to say there's movement in the back garden or on the, on the driveway. I can check the camera very quickly, see if there's someone in the back garden that shouldn't be, I can ring the police up. I mean, they don't even know I rang the police. Amazing, so that's good. The only one downside, okay, I've got for this. And there's only one, uh, in all honesty, and that is the um, the swivel point on the camera. If they had just took a little bit more thought with regards to the swivel, if you could swivel it on a 360 basis, that would have been absolutely brilliant. However, you're, you're very limited. You can, only, you can only do literally straight forward and down. If you just gave a little bit more thought into having it on a ball system so that you could just move it left and right to get the, the exact image you wanted, you would have been on an absolute winner in my eyes and you would have got a really good mark for that. But because you can only um, limit it um, downwards or whichever way that cutout is, so you can go up or all the way to the right, you're limited. You don't have 360 view. So that is the only downside I have to that device. However, it was sent to me free of charge for um, purpose of review and that is my honest review. For what it costs compared to the main manufacturers, the big boys who produce this sort of equipment, that's a very, very good, good alternative. I will let you know how it progresses on throughout the summer and winter months. If you want, want to, um, me to give you an update on that, then uh, I'll let you know, make sure it is charged and what have you. Because if it is no good, I will tell you. But if it is good, then I will tell you too. So I think this is actually quite a good little um, device for what it is. There will be a link in the um, description below for where you can purchase these. I make no money at all out of this, out of the sale of this. This is literally down to them. They sent me this for free of charge for um, purpose of review. And also, as promised, um, I said there was one to be given away. So all you got to do uh, to to um, win one, of, uh, win this um, this camera for yourself, for your workshop, for your home, or for wherever you want it, all you must do is email it to me. My email address can be found in my about section. All you have to do is email me. There are two um, animals on the wall where I fit the camera. There's two butterflies and something else. What else is on the wall? If you can tell me that, then you can then um, win a chance in winning um, this camera. So email it over to um, mixmo one at gmail.com and uh, I will then pick a winner from uh, random in another video. And if you answer back, uh, you then stand a chance in, uh, in winning that camera and I will post it anywhere in the world. So that's fantastic. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this sort of video of Mixed Muzz and Man. If you did, get a big subscribe button, hit the old bell. Dang! That way you'll be told next time we'll another video. I look forward to this episode of Mixed Muzz very, very soon. But until then, guys, much more importantly, Daisy! take it easy.